all right so welcome back to the second video right still on the art of carousel and so the next model we'll be looking at is the art right and um i simply start from stands for repetition right or repeat right or let me put that here fantastic so repeat r e p e a t so what does this simply mean it simply means that you know like having a kind of like consistency with your brand yeah with from your colors to your uh, text to your you know um the, your style of like communicating using your culture so it's best for you to actually you know for your brand to be known for a particular color so that like for, personally for instance like, once you actually come to my page you know there's every possibility that you are you either find a touch of blue or yellow so yellow is mostly now a color that's associated to my brand and as far as my son is actually what actually got me a lot of jobs a lot of like businesses People would because I uh, most of the time I felt like asking people like what is that is actually attracted to my brand. So more often than not, I get that uh, that it's actually the yellow, and they will actually combine it to get my content that actually draws your attention. So here's what you want to do, right? You want to actually look for a particular color and then it takes a some particular field that we actually you you know, use and then repeat over and over and over again, so that it becomes part of your brand and associated with you, right? So last but not the least in the model, so. Um, the C, right? And the C stands for contrast. And um, okay, let me put that here. Okay, Ctrl D. C O N T R A S T. Come on. All right. So what I mean by contrast? So uh, contrast simply means like you know, you kind of like notice. Like being or uh, laying, uh, giving a reference or like an uh, emphasis. Let me just put it down here. Let me use the word emphasis. I think this goes more. Okay, emphasis. E M P H A S I S. And uh, what does it mean, right? So it simply means um, if you're talking about let's say a particular thing, right? let's say you want to talk about okay, how to lose weight. So uh, in that particular word, yeah, I think um, losing weight is actually like a word, word of reference. To that particular quote, you know, quote. So you want to actually lay emphasis to that um point, and here's what I mean here. Yeah. Okay, let me just try to like explain it here. Okay, now let's see. Oh, I know. Let's let's move here, right? How to Let's say you want to create a content about how to lose weight. Now, watch this, guys. So, here's what let me just board my text. So, now if you're talking about okay, losing weight here, yeah? so by contrast, here's what I mean here. Yeah? So, if this your uh, if your word that you want people to actually notice from that, if it is weight or if it is, let's say lose for instance, what you want to do is either change the color of this, you understand this, or lose weight here yeah? to either let's say, okay, let me use my color here. Yeah? So, if you do this, so once people read that thing, like how to lose weight, you're, you're actually giving that contrast to that particular loose because once we see the, that height that loose will only get attention very much and it's going to cut attention quickly it will just boost attention very very fast yeah so it will, lay, it will tell them that you're actually talking about losing weight similarly if it is weight you need to actually add, I, I left the word weight as well so it's not only color you can actually you can use a lot of things yeah so i like personally um although me i like to actually use colors a lot in my content if you've watched my content for a while i like to use colors a lot so at times i can also use you can also add like let's say um okay let's do like a rectangle yeah now what you, what, what i'm doing here guys okay so you can say okay oops let me change that to yellow for each other so i'm talking about it. then okay um send to back okay so here's what i mean guys So if I want to talk about how to lose with yeah. so if I do this, how to lose with so automatically that to lose actually gets your attention. So if you're actually creating any content and you have a particular word, maybe like keyword you want them to notice. So always try to like give a contrast to it. And another way we can actually do is you can also increase the size of that particular word. Yeah. So there's no like a limit to it. So you can always explore, but always ensure you actually have a contrast to your design, especially to your that very first slide, which is what your hook because that's what actually gets attention of people yeah so that's all about the pack model which is what the uh the proximity 
the alignment they repeat and also the contrast yeah so um then going to our design yeah and, um, okay so let's create something here although um when designing a carousel especially so um i don't always use um the uh, because if you look at this particular slide here this canvas here it's more of like a, a square shape yeah so what this does if you're using this like, it doesn't give you like enough space to work with and again it doesn't it's not that full but if you want that particular slide that will actually fill your slide that will fill your slide rather so always like oh uh, if you if you look at this okay let me go to the side there as you can see here okay sorry so yeah, it, it, it says 180 by 180. But if you want to design on Instagram to actually make it actually fool your design, so here's what I always do. So I always like to use a dimension 180 by 1350. So once you come here, create, uh, click on your create a design. So you see where you have your custom dimension. It doesn't matter, but even if you use your mobile phone or your mobile app rather, or you're using the desktop version. So it, it, everyone, all of them have the create a design. It has a dimension. So just tap on dimension here. So here you can put your 1080 by 1350 so pretty much that easy you then create your design yeah so we are wasting more time let's just go to it all right so let me copy this copy and then okay let me just paste the text so another thing i wanted to notice here uh, um aside the um the canvas and this so uh, you notice here so this is more of like a, a rectangular shape other than the square if you look at this so this is a square right like every shape are equal here but if you look at this these two sides are much more yes and equal so it gives you like enough space to actually work with so let me paste this here control v how to use weight so another thing i wanted to notice notice rather is actually um the uh oh what's the word what was i was about to say i can't believe i even actually forget what i want to say yeah okay yeah the text right so um when creating a carousel especially for your first slide which is what they hook so you actually use a very bold font so i like i love to use um antonio bold however there are other fonts you can actually explore on your time on canva but personally this is the font that's associated with my own brand and i always like to recommend it because it actually beautifies my design if you look at all my design i'm saying literally all my design i use antonio bold for my this as you can see here right if you look at everything i use antonio Bull, and it actually comes out very well in your design yeah so however you can also um what was it well you can also explore the yeah, so it actually pleases you right so let's just use this word how to use it to create a particular design all right so don't mind my word though i know it, <laughs> you might not be in weight loss but i just i just actually use what comes to my mind as as it, as it is right what's happening Right, perfect yeah okay so let me just give a, an emphasis to this um loose right like we did the other time so i'm trying to actually create a carousel for you now everything into it, right so the first thing you need to do so after putting in your text and then make it very bold that you give your contrast to before and i'm finally selecting the picture and i know uh, um <laughs> well, of course which is what most people actually think it is to carry say which is what just connecting pictures together which is what we'll be looking at now and um it's actually you know it's very funny how at times you see a carousel on instagram and, and you almost you, you almost want to vomit because of the people actually connect pictures and um here's what i mean yeah? <laughs> here's what i mean uh okay let me go to upload here and try to look for a particular picture to work with okay i think this looks nice let's look at this this is a picture of one of my clients, Abby. A beautiful Abby. Oh, I'm not supposed to be using this. Then please don't tell her I use a picture. <laughs> don't tell her, please, in case you know her. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me remove this background. So hopefully my network is actually back now, and it won't really give us stress like that. So just click on remove background. So um, in case you don't know how to remove background on your um. Uh, Canva, right so if you're using the free version i guess right the free um the paid version of Canva, so it has like the background remover option like you're seeing here oh no no not anymore what's happening with my network now okay let me try again so let's just tap here on the remover background remover it's a little bit for you however if you are using the free version so there's the okay hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah so there's a website called um background remover that's um 
the uh, remove.bg r e m o v e.bg let me open that for you quickly r e yeah remove.bg as you can see here remove.bg so what that does it helps to remove background all you need to do is just import your background yeah so all six side opens here so click on this upload you upload your background and then tap on remove and it will remove the background for you then you can always import it to your um camera right but that's by the way but then since i use pro version so i can always remove the background for myself so now what i'm making also here what what most people does is like they create a picture like this you understand then what they do is this okay let me just let me try and duplicate this Control d so you so you can understand what i'm talking about here yeah? this thing go away jerry Um, so have you ever come across instagram post with a carousel or instagram carousel like, like this i mean this is so annoying like <laughs> who else gets turned turned off when they see pictures like this so this is what i'm talking about yeah so you need to actually um uh, i'm sure by the end of this video you actually learn how to actually connect pictures perfectly yes and only carousel like but then so let's dive into it here yeah? so this is our picture god why does this keep disturbing me so the more one thing you need to understand is this um and it's a simple, simple trick i use here yeah, is what, what what i call the rule of landmark so by landmark i mean simply looking for a like particular um angle right and here's what i mean yeah. so for this particular picture here yeah, we'll be using this look at where my cursor is here yeah. we'll look at this eye these are high these are is it left or right left right left let me see left okay i think this should be right yeah so we're using our right eye as our proximity here yeah. so we'll be chopping off this is that a right word <laughs> Pardon me, please, by um, maybe if you're watching this, pardon me <laughs> for some reason. I could only think of that word now, chop <laughs> all that, but then <laughs> that's by the way. So, once you put your picture here, so use this line to actually be your guide. So, just draw this up here and then make it actually um, bold. So, I like to actually make my picture very bold here. So, what you do in this is as a bring this here. You know to array here and then you shift this to the left here right so are you sure you actually use your arrow or your get your tab here just to move your set to the edge as you can see we're actually shifting it to the left you get to the end of that of our eye here of our right eye right boom as you can see here yeah? that's it guys so what what do you know what you need to do is this so actually make this picture appear perfectly on the second slide so the mistake most people make is they try to actually import that picture again but what you should do rather to make you have that perfect combination get perfect conjunction or is it hey god english <laughs> perfect joining of picture rather english is not kill you <laughs> i say conjunction <laughs> okay but then so rather than just putting the picture importing the picture again all you need to do is actually copy that duplicate that same page here's what i mean so always click on this particular button here and uh, if you're also if you're using your mobile phone you also you also click on that um i think it's plus button also you will see this particular icon here so it's just actually copy the same page right so here's what, what it does as you can see so this is my first page and this is my second page here right so what you want to do is this move that particular image to the side as you can see here ensure you actually have your this you know i talk about um your balance which is what alignment you to actually make use of an alignment so what um canva does is as i'm moving that picture you know, they give me that guy so once it's here it's actually telling me okay i'm on track as you can see here but if i move it anywhere you see it's telling me ah guy you pass your boundary so this is i'm still on track here so i will now move this here right so since it ends from the left high here right so i'm going to begin the second slide here from the second high here right which is what okay i like to use my hair as well to have that perfect touch as you can see here right perfect so what you want to do you draw this here to the edge and then you bring that back your picture oops what have, what have i just done ctrl z okay you draw this out and then you draw back this back in perfect and then okay let's do this back so as to actually bring in our picture so now remember what i told you about if you have your picture by your left then your text should be by your right right if you have similarly if you have uh, vice versa right? so now another thing i wanted to notice which was like another pro tip that i'm gonna give you is this so if you're using a text if your text is by your right yeah so always try to like i learn everything again to be by the right similarly if your text is by the left that as you see here right as you can see every text is actually aligned 
by the left here so we will do the same thing for this particular second slide here which is what will bring every text to the left here so what that does is it, it gives you that feel you know that professionalism it brings that your 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 design back to life okay sorry perfect here okay so here's what i mean As you can see, right? Uh, so similarly, you want to actually uh, look for the um, the uh, is it um, the alignment, right? And they also sent the back. So similarly, guys, that was to design in carousel. So the same thing we did there, you do for this next slide and the next and the next and the next. But remember, your first slide is for your hook. Why from your slide two to slide nine is for your stories. Then your slide 10 is for your what your offer way which is where you give them a call to action the call to action could be let's say okay you click the link on my bio um drop a comment below or it could be um tag someone it could be um double tap if you it could be share this post save you know anything you guys anything just any action you wanted to take that should be for your call to action now um another confusion people always have is this, how will they do this in, in, in case maybe let's say if you're not selling maybe if you're uh, selling a product right no offense service so also is not only meant for people that actually sell products as a matter of fact it's much more effective when you actually display your product in carousel than just using it in on one slide or like that or it is so, so let's say for this as now you'd sell like a a god or oh, what's the word oh anything okay let me just okay let's say you sell best shit for this one yeah so what you're this you can maybe like your first slide could be any hook maybe like um do you need the best shit or are you okay just look for a, a particular word that is not so common something that you don't know what's anything to stop so once you use that particular hook to get to the attention then your first slide could be let's say okay oh, number one okay lay your bed well right so also say lay your bed well of course you, the, you, the picture will be there then your second the third slide could be let's say you talk about and then remember since if you're using a bold font for to highlight a point right so what you want to do if you want to actually um go for the next topic here so you don't want to use another board it makes it look a very um you know unprofessional unless maybe let's say you want to actually talk about very few things maybe let's say you want to talk about like this now this is a particular just four words here yeah? so you can use a word like this and of course if you want to be in center you have to centralize your text right however however if we want to talk about maybe let's say long thing maybe i say long thing <laughs> right so if you want to talk about maybe let's say um, a particular maybe like anything from like five to six or eight lines so you want to actually use a, a less bold font so I, what i like to use for my own brand is what um there's a font called um where is it where is it is it Mont montessori or what hey, God, let me just search for it uh -huh, perfect here yeah. oh where is it i can't find it here I can't find it here. Okay, yeah, ha. Huh. Mon Montserrat Classic. Yeah, here. So this is the font I like to use if I'm trying to like explain any font, any um, thing, yeah. Okay. So alright. Emma goes. Let's say okay, just talk about uh, how, how this is okay. Let's just say um to no sorry. Let me do that again. Okay, let's increase our text a little bit. Let's say forty-two. Okay, so let's say okay to lose. You need up to indulge in okay, proper, okay, let's say regular, regular exercise. 
this is a disclaimer guys please i'm not a weight loss professional <laughs> i don't know anything about weight loss this is me just putting anything that comes from the top of my head just to explain what i'm teaching is carousel please not weight loss so if i say anything that is not <laughs> that is way out of it please pardon me <laughs> okay but then i know of course now if you want to do it they'll say okay well, do exercise and of course what else what else maybe okay okay and have and um always take regular or oh, perfect diet whatever that means <laughs> whatever that means like i said earlier disclaimer i'm not a weight loss professional perfect diet and also sleep up to sleep for eight hours at N I G H C at night. Yeah. Okay, diet is D I E T. Alright. So let's say you want to actually highlight a pot like this here. Yeah? So uh -huh. you can use a font that is much more smaller just to tell people that about uh yeah, what you do maybe like just to explain a particular point if I it that's below be, below uh, before right? before that right so then um okay let's change the particular this font is not nice at all so let's look for another font okay Montserrat there you go my font for some reason the network is just messing me up tonight yeah and um okay let's just see but then Mosaic and uh, Antonio Bo, those are my two phones that I like to use here for my content creation, especially when I put it. As you can see, yeah, there you go. So uh, you might also want to bold it and just leave it however you choose, right? So I like to actually bold it just to give it that feel again and to give it that to make the text come to life, yeah. So so pretty much that's not okay, Carlos. Although you want to you, you might also want to actually um take your design further, yeah, by okay. Oh, and I also want to say this before for that please. Um, the, um, when creating a culture, it's not a must. Like, it's not like a must for you to actually. You mostly use pictures, right? Unless maybe let's see if you want to actually sell a product. Of course, you, have, you need to actually show us a picture or a video of your culture of your picture of your product, right? However, if let's say you want to actually um explain something, you want to actually teach something. Let's say you are in the knowledge industry, you want to teach people how to actually run ads or how to do something. But then picture always, you know, picture, you know, there's a, people connect more with picture with image, big picture or video, right? That's why I love to use pictures in my carousel. But it's not like a must because I know people actually kill themselves. People actually go, you no, know, it's but it's not like a must. You can choose to use arrows, you can choose to use like a uh, angles, you can use to use um like maybe shapes or anything. But then pictures like I said earlier connect more with people, right? And um one of the uh, challenges people always have is so no this is actually have uh to actually um look for pictures right i'll be sharing with you some websites to actually get pictures for your course before i actually wrap up this course so the first uh, website is what the pixels.com so pixels give you a variety of feature of pictures and uh stock images rather and they are absolutely for free yeah and uh, so that is one stock uh, image that you can see so another um font is what freepic.com also have a very nice images uh, but, uh, as a matter of fact free piece is one of the best sites to get our stock images from i use it personally although this particular site are like very very popular like they are just so rampant and popular so when i design my character again yeah, i have a particular website that i use especially to get like my png uh, what i mean by png is not translate because under uh, this site is called pnggo.com and trust me guys this site has actually if it has actually changed my design for good it has changed my life let me just put it that way for good here yeah. for instance let's say if you want to design something here yeah, and you want to actually make your design look uh, much more significant yeah yeah got to look significant yeah so you want to actually create this um there's something called kaizen effect yeah? and uh, kaizen effect simply means you know putting in that a little bit a little, a little bit extra to what you do making your design look very significant and then i catch it and here's what i need if you look at most of my design here yeah? so i always start to look for put this a uh, part of like effect on my design so that you know it look it more look much more you know different to what other people are doing i mean i mean if you come to my uh bio see well, look at what my bio is saying like, my bio is okay well, canva you get and the plus content feature i make wow visual content so imagine coming to my page and seeing pictures or videos or um you get carousels that everyone else is doing i mean there's nothing so special about it there's nothing wow about it now right which is why i love to actually put that effect on my designs and that effect is about what i'm about to show you and by effect here's what i mean so this is one here 
So if you look at this particular um, carousel, this particular oak that I created here, which is the, by oak I mean by the first line. So look at this. This is an effect that I use. This on um, ugly as can see. So this is the proximity I'm talking about here. Uh, the um, the contrast rather. So I I put um oh uh, this uh, what's it called? I use yellow background here, yeah? yellow text for the ugly, just to make you know I'm actually making reference to show up original but not ugly on Instagram here. Yeah? And then this thing, this particular paper that I see, I see that uh, that is done is an effect that I apply. So that's what I mean by uh, being significant and then giving an effect. Here's another effect that I use. Okay. So as, as you can see, this post. So this is another effect that I use on this picture. This thing I put this here. It's not as if it comes with that. I actually created it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to show you one more effect before we go. Okay. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. So, uh, well, uh, I use this site. This, this particular site, PNG Gold, is used to get all the effects. Maybe let's say you want to actually add, like, a, maybe like a hole to your design or like a texture to your background or anything. So let's just search for hole here. H O L E. As you can see there, there are tons and tons of them here so this was the one i was showing you now i use this a lot as well in my background and um, i also use um, this particular okay where is it where is my cursor angle okay as you can see so this is another one so i use something like this for that particular uh, design that i showed you although it's not this example that i use so for this yeah this effect that you see here so that is what i'm actually talking about so i use something like this done so what this side does is this once you actually um download anything here right so it comes like in form of um, a png um what's the word okay this was the this one so let's just use this so once you download the app you see all this place that has um black and white so it will be plain so you whatever color you use in your background in on your design it's all actually appear and here's what i mean so let me just download this here for each other i'm talking about here Okay, so uh, doop, 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 download it. Let's wait for you. You know why to download? Network is just messing with me for some reason. For, <laughs> for some reason, this night. I don't know what I did to network. But well, then that's by the way. Yeah, download download so as, as you can see um once you click on it it also actually recommend i think yeah it recommends other effect and other designs as you can see that you can use so to really make your i think i've used this as well i use this in one of my design as well i use this particular effect as well in one of my designs yeah but once it's really downloaded you understand what i'm talking about Although it doesn't take this long, but for some reason, the network is actually really just uh, frustrating this light. However, we move, you know, th that's what happens when you are actually <laughs> operating in a third world country. <laughs> uh, and this is me using Spectrum, is they claim to be one of the best <laughs> network providers, but then <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's just I think I have the picture saved somewhere okay let me go upload there let me check my upload i think i have this already downloaded let me just check my oh, perfect yeah there you go yeah you go there you go there you go so you see what i'm talking about here yeah? go away network yeah so once you create this as you can you can always reduce the size so you can move this anyway so oh uh, please understand i just use this to explain to you there are a lot of effects a lot of backgrounds a lot of things you can actually do you get with this particular website here so it's not just the only load so you can always explore at your time similarly you can you can choose to add a background because as you can see even for my um if you look at my designs here okay let me open here so uh, more often than not i like to actually use a uh, um some of backgrounds yeah like if you look at this particular design so what i use is a white background 
for no, I, I think you just use the white like that. Your eyes are applied like some kind of like effect. As you can see, this dotted on lines here. So it's actually an effect that I applied that, that's gotten from um this particular website known as um, PNG Guru. Yeah. So you can just come once you come you can just type on texture. Okay, see. Just type on texture. You see a little like texture background that you can always use. So once you apply it, it actually gives you that um you know that effect which you uh rather than just using your background like that on a plain text. And so let me just show you here what I mean here. So imagine I want to just use this like that. Okay, let me let's use this to our face on our face page to see what it looks like. Okay, where's my effect? I think I have it downloaded here. Effect. Okay, perfect. Here you go. So this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, as you can see, so this makes your design looks comes more to life however you mostly use it this is just me recommending things that you can use to actually make your design you know that the, that design you create now people will ask you how do you do this so those are the kind of design that, that i love creating not just something that everyone else is creating yeah so here's what i mean yeah as you can see this looks more professional they're more eye catchy they're more um um what's it what was it was scroll stopping yes i got it scroll stopping <laughs> okay so pretty much guys that's how to actually go about this um though i necessarily don't have to like create for much of 10 years i just want to actually understand the principles yeah so also i can choose to uh, uh um apply um what's the word shapes here yeah? because you just come here and they apply okay let's say i want to apply like a rectangle let me just rotate this a bit Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I can choose to just apply this to my design. Let me just move this. Let's say I want to use this here. I can just, just okay. Let me change my color to yellow, and then okay, set to back, guys. my 90 degrees okay perfect i have my 90 degrees here. so i can always you know just do this all right so similarly again so uh, let's say on uh, this particular page i want to actually use white here so i'll tell you i'll plan a, a touch of yellow so what's now what now puts in my next page yeah so once i'm uh, working on my network this is another page i've created here so if you look at this that's my oh that's my system here. so if you look at this this, is the, oh, this was the first page so let's say here i use white and then i want to use, actually use yellow so you can just apply like a touch of yellow something here right such that the next slide here so you just use like directly your yellow background yeah so let's apply this to yellow so what that does is this if you're using it on instagram yeah so once you actually join this picture you know of course when you post together everything will join together so once you join here yeah? so as you can see you have a touch of yellow here so once you swap left so it's not connected as if you have that yellow then appear on the other yellow so those are different ways to actually have apply effects on your design using carousel to make you look more or professional they look it's come more lively so pretty much guys hope you enjoy this hope you um have uh, however if you have any questions so far on what we discuss on this mini course don't hesitate, uh, uh, hesitate rather to please reach out to me in the dm on instagram i will and i will be um i'll gladly explain to you right whatever it is you have a challenge with so hope this actually helps so after this piece um i want to believe that after this course yeah so uh, i don't want to actually see you post anyhow any our carousel on instagram i want you to actually believe that with this again your carousel game will actually go from one to ten straight up yeah so please uh please guys uh, i will want you to actually um put into practice every single thing you've learned in this particular course yeah so hope this helps i look forward to seeing your amazing design as uh, and, uh, as always like i always tell people remember please anything is possible to come for all you need to do is just come by right so do have a wonderful time have a wonderful day